A company donates 935 pencils to a school. The pencils are divided, divided, excuse me, divided evenly among nine classrooms. The rest of the pencils are given to the, to the library. Which statement below correctly describes how the pencils are divided? So here they're giving us the numbers here, and we have to realize that we're going to give or divide the pencils evenly, which means we'll give all of the pencils <coughs> to nine classrooms so that each classroom gets the same amount of stuff. And that's what division really is all about. This is just really saying you have 935 things and divide them evenly the best you can among nine people. And this is actually a nice easy division problem because nine times 100 is 900. But we're only trying to get, right, nine times 100 is 900. But we just need to find how many times nine goes into 935. Well, nine times four is 36. That's too large, right? We've gone over 35. So nine times three is 27. So that means nine goes into 935. 100, right? A full 100 times and three. So here, this means that the 935 class pencils, if they're divided into nine classrooms, each classroom will get 103 pencils. So C and D and, and well, E are out as well. The only, the only practical answer is 103. That's the most you can give to each classroom, right? Because then there are only eight pencils left over, and we can't distribute eight pencils to nine classrooms, so, so that's the eight extra pencils going to the library. And here I'd say, just to look at this and think about the picture, um, A is definitely the answer. All right, thanks.